hey, hey. Good morning. And welcome to Bristley Ridge this morning. So, uh, Snowdonia up on the, uh, the Glidderai. And uh, that's Trivan behind me. And the sun's just come up. So I got into the base of uh, the ridge here about quarter past six this morning, uh, which is when sun rises, um, maybe a little bit before. And then I've come up Bristley Ridge. So it starts off, you've got a pair of twin gullies at the foot of the ridge. The left-hand one being Sinister Gully, don't be put off by the name. And then the right-hand one being Dexter Gully. And uh, uh, Sinister and Dexter are just Latin for left and right. So it's not a particularly Sinister Gully at all. Um, and then uh, made my way up, up the ridge. Um, and it's a beautiful, really nice grade one scramble. Um, nothing, uh, nothing too intimidating on it. It's, it's probably the top end of grade one simply because there aren't any escape routes off it. Um, but, um, but it's fantastic, big holds, really, really nice rock. Um, and, uh, and as you can see, an incredible place to be. So uh, once you've come up Sinister Gully, and you can go up Dexter, it's just that it's, um, it's got a bit of loose rock at the top, so it's not quite as nice as, well, not quite as sort of uh, objectively safe perhaps as, as Sinister. Um, once you've come up there, the ridge broadens out a bit and it's uh, sort of fairly straightforward scrambling. It's probably the crux, that the, the start actually. So once you've got up that, you, you sort of, you're okay really. The beauty of scrambling is just the sheer joy of the continual movement. Absolutely lovely. So here we're on the pinnacles, sort of the next main feature on the ridge really, and pretty close to the top. Um, and you just sort of weave through and around them and then down into the notch. Just some little patches of snow down in the, uh, down in the notch there. The last of the, the lambing snow still, still hanging on in on these shadier north faces. But uh, easily avoidable. So scrambles in the UK are graded from one to three, with one being the easiest, three being the hardest. And generally people move on grade one ground like this without sort of rope for protection. But, you know, there's no rules. It's part of the joy of being out here, really. So if you want to use a rope, use a rope. Um, once you get into grade two and three, it's perhaps more common then for people to use a rope for protection. But again, there's no rules. There's nobody at the entrance sort of checking you. And there's nobody up here keeping an eye on you. And I think that's one of the beauties of the mountains, really. We, it's one of the last sort of bastions where we can still, we can go out and be, be self-reliant and, uh, and make mistakes and, and, and learn from them. And to me, that's the ultimate freedom, really. So here we go, we're reaching the top of Bristley Ridge, absolutely mega. And then I've got a short walk over the top of the glitter eye, go to the, uh, the glitter's takeoff point and fly back down to the car, go and have a big fried breakfast somewhere, ace. So I'm just walking into the, the takeoff. So I'm in the um, Snowdonia Sky Sports Club, local paragliding club, and this is one of their sites. So if you are thinking of coming up and flying, get in touch with the club and they'll tell you where the good places to take off and land are, without upsetting any local landowners or local farmers. And as I come into the site now, I'm sort of 
primarily interested in what the wind's doing. And it's really light, which is what I like. I'm not, uh, I'm not fussed about soaring, which is where you use the wind to, to soar on the hill. I just want a nice ride down. So a nice light wind like this, absolutely perfect. go down Saven Sound what a flight down it was just idyllic you can see the, the lakes are just flat calm there's hardly a breath of wind here my car's there so uh, less than 10 minutes from the summit to the car and it's like a magic carpet ride this morning with conditions like this it's uh, yeah ace <laughs>